you know, it's been sort of a, a very organic journey for me. I, um, I grew up in Canada, and my father is Japanese heritage, my mother is British heritage, but uh, I was born in Western Canada, in Edmonton, in a very, very uh, cold environment where uh, if you didn't play hockey or ski or snowshoe, like people would actually snowshoe, you, know, <laughs> uh, you were left to kind of fend for yourself and like, try to come up with activities to uh, entertain yourself, basically. So I, I do remember even as a young kid saying, Mom, oh, I'm bored, what can I do, what can I do? And she'd be like, why don't you paint, why don't you draw? And, and luckily, I was into it. Luckily, you could, I guess. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, so we just banished it. And I think that, um, you know, this has been part of my sort of answers to like why I do the work that I do. And I think, like, again, it came from a very natural, uh, organic place. And that uh, when you're a young artist and you're, you're trying to paint or draw people, you tend to just sort of like turn to your friend and say, hey, can you post me? And so they would. And so um, that was it. And so I didn't really think too much about it. And, and I guess maybe especially growing up in Canada, it didn't really occur to me that this down the road might be something that's seen a little bit conceptually in a way. Um, but I, I, I think that served me well. You know, it, it was almost a naivete. Like, I'm just gonna paint people, you know, just paint whatever it may be. And then um, as I matured and, and started to push into a professional career, I realized that I kind of felt compelled to focus um, on women. And, and, and certainly women of color. You know, I, I think that as an artist, I don't, I don't know any artist that feels like, I don't know any good artist that feels like they want to do the same thing that's been done before over and over again. So for me, it wasn't like, I'm going to do as you do a white cloth on a pedestal across my side. <laughs> do it. And I thought, well, I enjoy people, I enjoy portraits, and I think that a big part of portraiture is storytelling. I think you're really telling, you're documenting this person, telling uh, their story, and you're celebrating them as an individual. But I think, I think good portraiture can also serve as a metaphor for a greater experience. So, this is my friend Yagazi Amese, who's uh, uh, got a great social media presence, he's a very you know, wonderful personality, very outspoken. Uh, Nigerian Peruvian background, and uh, she was living in Nigeria. She just moved. Um, I can't remember exactly where she's living now, in Africa still. But she um, is somebody that I'd always wanted to paint. We had actually met through social media. We were friends on Facebook for years, and then finally she showed up in New York and I said, I got you. Let's, let's do this. And so it's certainly about celebrating her uh, as an individual, but like I said, I think that she represents in this painting more than just her specific self. And again, I, I, I'm very interested in that concept um, in art, is that there's, there's always layers to it. There's, there's more than one sort of perspective on it. And I think that that hopefully is uh, translated well here. Um, I'll pause to sip this water. <laughs> I wanted to tell you the impetus for making the piece was, it was very simple. I'm, I'm so pleased that it's ended up sort of resonating um, more than I ever would have anticipated, but I knew I wanted to do a portrait of her. I, I didn't sort of know what kind of secondary message or what the supporting elements were gonna be. I, I just said I wanted to do something very direct. I wanted to be her and, um, and portray this attitude of confidence and uh, just being secure with herself. And, yeah, this is me. And um, thank you also to Eric Rodriguez from NBC. He's here over there. He asked me a question earlier, you know, how did I come up with the pose? And in fact, it was one of those in-between moments where you go in as an artist sometimes thinking, well, I'm going to have her do this or that or whatever, all these good trying things. And it's that moment where she's just relaxing. She's like waiting for me to get my act together, and I move over, and I'm like, oh, that's perfect. Right there, boom, like, that's you, that's you, your natural uh, state. So that's kind of how the pose came about. But then, as far as the message, whenever we, 
out and hang out with her. We'd walk around Brooklyn or in the city. I'd just be walking down the street, and all of a sudden I'd see somebody across the street, and I'd see them look and turn, and I'd just be like, <laughs> and I was like, oh, all the time, you know, I don't. I, mean, I was like, you know that person? Like, they'd be coming at like a high speed, like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, a big smile on their face. I'm like, this must be your friend. He's like, I don't know the person. The first thing they'd say, excuse me, I just want to tell you, I love your hair. <laughs> I 